Knights and Wall Breakers. Oh my god! Ugh. Shoot him! Shoot faster! This is Clash of Clans, one of the most popular mobile games to ever exist, and it all begins with her. This is a villager, she is one of many that walk around aimlessly clapping at random trees in your village. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they do that. But after you are introduced to her, you get swarmed by a bunch of little greedy goblins. Defend your village successfully and counterattack. Good job! You're now Town Hall 1. Your town hall is the heart of your village. Upgrading the town hall unlocks new defenses, buildings, traps, and much more. But does it defend your village? No. No, it does not. Well, not yet at least. Anyways, speeding up a little here, we can skip past Town Hall 2, and look, wow, all of a sudden, you're Town Hall 3? What's the difference between Town Hall 1 and Town Hall 3? Well, the Clan Castle, of course. Once you reach Town Hall 3, you can rebuild the Clan Castle, and finally experience what Clash of Clans is all about. The glory, the fighting, the clan wars, the donation, the troops, and most importantly, the victory. Or you can just, um, yeah. Let's just say that clans allow you to, um, express yourself. In other words, you're no longer a loner and can go talk to someone or yourself on several different accounts. Yeah, um, we've all been there before. Moving forward a little, what do we have next? Oh yes, Town Hall 4. If you're wondering what amazing upgrades and features you get from this Town Hall, well, be ready to be amazed. Oh wait, it's just an air defense. But wait, what's this? What's this boat doing here? Rebuild? Oh, okay, let's travel. Wait, what is this place? What are you doing here? Okay, this is your secondary base. I know, Clash of Clans were so full of themselves that they decided to make another base. Hey, at least you have more content to play through. No. Nice. You got some pink barbarians, some invisible robbers, and some huge gym rats. Off to a good start. Oh yeah, let's not forget to mention it's permanently nighttime in here. Yeah, good luck trying to get back to- Oh yeah, that's right. You can just travel back and forth between the two bases. Good to know. Fast forwarding a little here, we have Town Hall 5, and what do you know, it looks just like the other town halls, only a couple of pixels bigger. After 5, comes 6, then 7, then 8. Oh wait, what's this? Why is my elixir black? Not that that's a bad thing. Welcome to a new Town Hall 8, where you get your first big, giant, ugly, useless guy, or what Clash of Clans likes to call a hero. Not much of a hero if they just lie down all day. Anyways, Town Hall 8 introduces something called Dark Elixir. Beforehand, as a player, you had only access to three resources in the home village. Elixir, gold to pay off the build collector, and gems. Oh, sweet, sweet gems. You guys wouldn't know the pain unless you had to go through the same process. The amount of things you had to go through just to get gems, it was just unreal. Anyways, at Town Hall 8, you unlock a new resource called Elix... Dark Elixir. See, it's it's different. It's not even the, the same logo. That, that's how unique it is. Yeah, you know what? At Town Hall 8, your base is starting to look good, you know? Kind of getting that glow up. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, yeah. So, um, you have a flying ship now? Wait, you had a ship since Town Hall 6? Okay, you guys didn't know that. Just pretend it just came in. So, this is called the airship, and along with it is a forge. And once you click the airship, you will be redirected to another village or several villages. Yeah, you thought two villages was enough? Nah man, this is Clash of Clans, we're only getting started. So basically, this is called the clan capital, and you basically have a clan village that you and your clan can upgrade, farm, and attack together. Pretty sweet. Until you have, a um, clan mates that just do a little bit of trolling. Okay, back to Town Halls. Next up, we have Town Hall 9, and I'm just gonna put it out there, Town Hall 9 is overpowered. You thought your little measly king hero guy was strong? Just wait till you use your queen. Your upgraded queen. With Town Hall 9, along with Expos, you unlock the Archer Queen, which allows you to incorporate a lot more attack strategies into your gameplay. Strategies? What? What's a strategy, you may be asking? 
this is just a simple mobile game, right? There, there shouldn't be any strategies. Well, unfortunately, there is a lot of strategies. Not for different players, but also for every single town hall. We have the barge strategy, which is barbarians and archers. We have the giants with a barge. We have the go wipe. We have the lava loon, the queen walk. And yeah, I just, I just don't know the rest of them. Feeling bored already? Great. You can upgrade your town hall, but you just need to upgrade the rest of your... Yeah, according to the Clash of Clans Handbook 101 Chapter 3 Law 4, it indicates that rushing is completely prohibited, and any player who chooses to do so will lawfully be convicted. Okay, so after slowly and manually slaving over all the upgrades, you have made it out to Town Hall 10. Yay, what's new? Nothing much. You got these orange lollipops that shoot out lasers. But other than that, you have nothing to do and I have to go back to the grind. One eternity later. Town Hall 11. What's new? The Warden's new. All new sleek design, intelligent looking, upgraded, wizard looking, half budget, Ares looking fool. Or in other words, the guy that when you click the button, saves your troop from harm. Oh yeah, and uh, you also have an eagle, but not any ordinary eagle. This eagle, it can fly, but it chooses not to, so it became a building, and now it can shoot you down and pummel your troops. Good luck trying to win battles. Oh wait, oh no, is that what I think it is? Please no. Yup, you want to learn an insane attack strategy that requires zero skill? Well, look no further than the E-Dragon. Amazing troop ability. This allows it to chain and attack buildings simultaneously. Isn't that great? I hope this attack doesn't get overused and become the only strategy in the game. Town Hall 12. You finally made it to the most boring town hall. You legit get like zero content. I mean, other than the fact that your town hall can attack, I feel like I've previously mentioned that. Other than the town hall attacking, you also get a couple of big dudes that think they're cold and a sniper and a plane or two. You have now made it to Town Hall 13. Wait, doesn't it look the same as the other Town Hall? Yeah, no one really cares. All we care about is that we have a new hero. Yay! What does it do? I mean, we already have a tank, an attacker, and a support, so uh, we'll just let it do its own thing. <laughs> Another addition with your brand new town hall is your new defenses that are totally unique and brand new ideas that are known as scatter shots because their shots scatter. Very um interesting. All jokes aside, this is probably one of the strongest defenses you will attain throughout your Clash of Clans journey. So we've been progressing nicely and choose to um uh, just politely ignore those walls, and uh, what do you know? We have arrived at Town Hall 14! Let's go! Town Hall 14. You know, 14 is a good number to introduce something new, something unique. Not just another hero, but more like an addition. <coughs> Alright, we'll keep it. Once you arrive at Town Hall 14, you unlock hero pets. Now, these little handfuls are your key to success in this Town Hall. Without it, your attacks would just never work. Speaking of attacks, our troops and army compositions seem a little too familiar. I mean, I swear I've seen that barbarian somewhere. Oh, and uh, come on, we can't forget your average goth e-girl Twitch streamer with her tier 1 subs. I just feel like Clash of Clans has a lot of troop inspiration these days. Who knows what they'll make next? Again, progress is slow, but it will be worth it, my friend. Yeah, don't mind those walls. Trust me, I'll upgrade them in the next town hall. Town Hall 15. Are we already there? It only um, took a couple of minutes. You have finally reached the maximum town hall. I think, maybe, for now, at least. I mean, you get a new defense. Wow, that's cool. It does a lot of damage. I mean, a lot of damage. My base is maxed or almost maxed, but you know, no one really notices those walls anyways. I guess it's finally time to go to rest. Wake up! Wake up! Just when we thought things couldn't get worse, they got better? I mean, dang, that town hall is looking spicy. Town Hall 16, we've been waiting a long, long time. Not really, a couple of months. But hey, game is game.
Town Hall 16 brings the new defenses, which are merged defenses. You know, almost like the Supercell team are letting the Reddit decide these new updates. Oh well, whatever. Anything to reduce space, I guess. Merging defenses are a great addition to your Town Hall. They allow you to do a lot more damage and just, you know, to do more damage. Going back to the Town Hall, it almost looks like it's made of roots. Like a troop we've seen before. The Root Rider. What a new addition to the new Town Hall. I mean, it does what it says, but it looks like something else. If you know, you know. Nonetheless, the Root Rider is kind of overpowered, so expect it to 3-star your base, and when you finally want to use it for your attacks, it will get nerfed. Nearing the end of this useless video, we've kind of covered everything. Although, it feels like I'm missing something. Nah, this video is too long. Peace out, take care.